I'm going to show you the devastating power of a legend with a lowdown that practically guarantees the average player amazing results. But once again, rolling into solo queue, the matchmaker spat out only one teammate for trios. And while this is becoming the new norm in Season 10, my name's Ragtag, the greatest gutter-tiered gamer on the face of the southern today. We are the speed freak Octane. Galloping across the plains of Olympus, we were hungry for combat, and it didn't take long for the sound of our turbine engines to attract attention. This felt like an aggressive push from our enemies, but Bloodhound stood proud and defiant as the team moved in. That was a good grenade. Come on, Bloodhound, take the jump pad and maybe, just maybe, we can get a cheeky revive off. It took longer than I thought for the jump. Enemies were closing in, we'd have to do this out in the open. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry about it, kinda rusty. My health low, a full squad on my doorstep. I couldn't win this fight unless the gods somehow handed me a third party and a fresh shield. But they did hand me a fresh shield. And a third party. I'm coming, Bloodhound. Now, for goodness sake, my goggles were steamed up, alright? Besides, I parked the getaway car outside, and we were ready to resurrect. Bloodhound back in action. Time to get them some gear and head to gardens for the start of our epic comeback. But first... Uh, hold on a second here, look at that noob that is definitely not me, running around, having a good time, playing Apex Legends and having a silky smooth experience on servers that are uh, definitely not broken, but it might surprise you to learn that this is actually being played on a laptop. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, my teammates are in trouble. This is the Acer Nitro 5, and while running first-person shooter games on a laptop in the past was a complete joke, now it's not only a possibility, but a way of life for gamers who want a bit of freedom from the clutter of a desktop PC, but most of all, portability... Well, portability... Porta... Port Wait a minute. Portability. Yeah, that. Unbelievably, the Nitro 5 is rocking an RTX 3070 graphics card, which I thought was impossible, as my current desktop PC has an RTX card in it, which is actually half the size of this laptop. But the thing I love most about this beast is the fact that it has a 144Hz display and a Ryzen 7 5800 CPU, which means you'll be enjoying more frames per second, more clicking heads, and Apex runs like an absolute dream. Check out the link in the description so you can see Acer's full range of laptops and find yourself the perfect rig that you can take to family events to avoid arguing with your siblings about which of you has soiled the family legacy. Thanks again to Acer for sponsoring this video. And by the way, you're not getting your laptop back. I've got a family barbecue coming up, you know, needs must. Back to the action, Bloodhound and myself scoured this strange pod-like building. And this was the first time I'd ever come across it since it was added to the update. To be honest, finding it was a complete accident as I usually just hot drop Hammond. But enemies weren't here and that's the only reason I needed to move on until we actually found them. But Bloodhound was on the case and the gardens would be the arena for our first comeback battle.
Okay, so it was a nice try, but this wasn't going to be the lowdown that had been getting me high damage games anyway, although Flatline Vault was very nice. I truly believe that the best of both worlds resides in the first two weapons that I picked up in this next game, and what a game it was. I got bamboozled. Yeah, well, that was just a trial run for the real thing, and the real thing turned out to be right in front. Bamboozled. Bamboozled! The humiliation was real, but not for me. Lobo was quickly reunited with their loot and just as well because another squad heard our commotion but this game was already feeling so much better because I could sense the quality of my squad mate's skills and better than that all three members of our team were alive and well. I need optics for an assault rifle. They're shooting at me. Revenant's ultimate was ready to transfer us to the Shadow Realm, but Loba needed healing. Was this a bad time to fight? Well, you think Revenant cares about his nemesis? <laughs> That was the end of that squad. The ring would force us to leave Countdown, but even as we tried to make our way eastward, some scurrying was heard beneath us, and I was about to learn the value of patience. Patience, Ragtag! Do not chase that kill! Thrilled by the vault, thank goodness for the gold armor. Went back to the high ground, but already our enemies had changed formation. Once they're cracked, don't let them get their shields back. Jump pad! Oh! Reloading. That's the last of them, amigos. Booyah! 30 seconds before round two closed, we needed to get out of here and on the other side of the tunnel. But once again, we heard the pitter-patter of little footsteps. Fusey footsteps. Don't play with your food rag tag because sometimes the food bites back. As the ring squeezed us south, I didn't hang around to see that Loba was swiping something from the vault, but in hindsight, me looking at my teammate's position would make what happened next look a little less, okay, a lot less reckless. And by reckless, I mean 
Ping red and make it dead. And I don't think they've said it for us. I mean, sure, there was a lifeline behind that rock, but had they escaped, or were they squeak, squeak, squeaking like a rat? Enemy there. Fire. 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 Reloading. Down that one. Charging shields. Come on, come on. Enemy there. Recharging my shields. One fight was over, but another was about to begin as staging area brought us more opponents and suddenly, just like that, we were in the end game. Only two other squads left, time for Octane to ease off the stims and ease on the strategy. The precision of the R301 was going to be an essential control of this battle's tempo. Go back to the void and remove all those bullets, or, or just don't come back. That that works too. Felt them trying to flank us, so I let them know how I felt about that. Jump pad. Oh! Charging shields. Tried to hold the high ground, but both squads had pincered us now. This would be a very difficult fight to win indeed. Then I made another ragtag decision that changed everything. Took care of that one. Good arc star. What a better grenade! Loba's brazen revive led to Revenant Swift demise, probably just the way she likes it, but little did I realize she'd swiped the gold backpack from the vault and I was half healed immediately. You can die when I'm done with you. There was just one squad left and I was heading towards another 3,000 damage game. My nerves began to twitch as the prospect of winning had unsettled me. Bloodhound down. So who was left? Just a solo pathfinder, an easy three-man rush. This game was ours. But then I realized that my teammates had decided not to push, and I panicked. Just like that, I was down. And then things got worse. Down and out. Come on, Revenant, I know you can do it, man. I've never seen you lose a 2v1 a day in your life. Better be some good loot around here. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, indeed. A sigh of relief for me as I felt hopes of victory crumbling before my eyes, but restored by a bold, hip-firing Loba who saved the game. I love the R301 EVA 8 combination. I know it didn't quite get 3,000 damage, but it was close enough. I think it's my favourite loadout at the moment. If you're struggling to get a good combination that works for you this season, why not give it a try? Hope you enjoyed the vid. Catch you in the next one. Later!